certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Good Wednesday morning, First Alert Meteorologist Diane Phillips welcoming you to October weather as we are finally seeing some more seasonal numbers in the forecast this morning. We had 30s and 40s and potentially our first frost in Houghton Lake, West Branch, Rose City. You are going to find high temperatures struggle to rebound. Those are going to be into the 60s this afternoon. We still have some summer 70s for Thursday, but overall these highs are going to be jumping up and down between 60s and 70s, even through the weekend and next week. So just be prepared for the back and forth normal highs would be around 67 degrees. Now I am for still alerting you that tonight not going to be as chilly. We are still though going to have a refreshing start with mid to upper 40s, but this is a little bit more typical for early October. As far as the sky tracker, we have a lot of those clear conditions overhead, just a few clouds. So plan on sunshine as we go throughout the day today. You'll find high pressure doesn't really allow for a lot of cloud development, so we'll have a dry and bright Wednesday. Very similar for Thursday, except a few fair weather clouds do try to develop. However, we do have rain chances before we get out of the week. We are going to have a cold front coming in. Drier air is in place, so you'll find some of these showers do start to die out as we go towards lunchtime. So thankfully, though, it looks like some drier weather for high school football. As we preview the weekend, plan on 70s for both days. More sunshine on Saturday. That's going to be the pick day for us. Those scattered showers will be here on Sunday. So that'll be an inside work day. Your first alert seven day forecast showing those up and down temperatures. And even though the rain chances are kind of on and off between Friday, Sunday and Monday. We do have some sunshine that fills in on the dry days. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go and online for more news and weather updates.